Well, I can remember the night because the, the, the sky was so clear hmm. and the stars there, and it was absolutely crystal clear, cold. It was October, night, October or November 52. Mm -hmm. And the generator wouldn't start. Mm -hmm. I opened up, and of course, petrol doesn't freeze, but it had crystallized. And you, and you didn't have a spring on on a generator, then you had to keep it. And I had to take my gloves off, and it wouldn't start in about 15, 20 minutes, and it just wouldn't start, it wouldn't start. And I thought, soon we're going to be off air, and I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble then. Was that because of the weather? Well, no, you, well, yeah, the cold weather. Yeah. But you have to be on air at all times. Yeah, yeah. And every, you had what to call That's your job. Yeah, a listening watch every hour. You, they were called in, I don't know, Newcastle 1 or whatever your call sign was. Mm -hmm. and Newcastle 1, how you read me, Newcastle, fine. And eventually went, pa, 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 pa. Oh. and then the gunfire, I could hear the gunfire starting the flashes. And, and it, I thought, it's all kicking off here. I don't know what it is, but it's all kicking off. Of course, then I heard, of course, the radio traffic got really heavy. And of course, it was the first battle of the hook. And, and that was it. Good job the generator started. I'd have been, in, I'd have still been in prison in Hong Kong. Yeah. And so, I, so that's why it's so vivid. In, but the, the sky was what I stood out there and looked at the sky. The, you know when the sky is crystal clear and this is full of stars. And, and yeah. Then suddenly all this. And then suddenly I could hear things started happening, and I realised something serious was was afoot. <laughs>